In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a glass effect to your image in GIMP. So let's get going. By the way, this is Farhan the guy talk. I have these images that can be downloaded from Pixabay. I'll be link in the description for them. And we're going to start by separating the glass ball from the background. So after separating, what I did was just create a circle and an ellipse around the around the glass ball here and you can see there are fingers coming out of this coming out of this glass ball but we are going to scale this so that doesn't really matter I'm gonna go to copy edit copy and now go to this tower image and go to paste as new layer Now we're going to scale this down. Click on the down handle. Click on the down handle. Something like that, but not like this. Actually, this looks perfect. I'm going to add a layer mask. Make sure it's white. Send the mode to soft light. Actually, hard light. I'm going to go to colors, curves, and I'm going to send this point to light in here. I'm going to apply layer mask. And send the opacity to a value of 50, 53.3. Now to make this more realistic, I'm going to match it with the environment. Go to colors, color temperature, and go with the original temperature to a value of 631.5 and the intended te temperature to Actually, go on the original temperature to 6031.5 and the intended temperature to 5580.4. Click OK. Now the alpha to selection. Go to our tower image. And now what we're going to do is spherize this content, this segment of the Image here. So go to distorts, filters, distorts, and find spherize. And you can see what happens. So we're gonna go with the curvature like this. Don't go too far. I'll leave this to your to your jurisdiction, but. I'm going to go with something like dot five oh six. Make sure the amount is one. Make sure the amount is one. Click OK. Now go to select invert. Now what I'm gonna do is blur this out, and this is the results. So that's what we're going to do now. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Take this, don't go too much. Go to a value of 5 and draw shift to set none. Maybe turn the opacity to 64. So that will do it for this tutorial, and as you can see, we have successfully created a glass effect and a spherized segment of the image and so I'll see you in the next one.